So this is uh, this is our, our star player here. This is a Sprague Dolly rat. This particular strain of the white rat. What uh, we use these guys for is to understand the brain. And so um, I basically am interested in two basic topics. Uh, one is memory formation and memory consolidation, and the other is decision making and in particular decision making and how the frontal cortex of the brain is involved in decision making. And so to understand that, what I do, you are so early, uh, what I do is I uh, record from neurons in the brain as animals perform various decision making behaviors. Um, and one of the behaviors you see right here, in this, this maze um, that we set up for this task. And so this guy's very fat right now, so he's, he's not going to be motivated to do anything at all on the maze. So I'll just put him on the maze and he can do his own thing. Um, and so basically they run around on the maze, and when they trigger different sections of the maze, or when they run over different sections of the maze, it triggers um, some doors to open up um, longer uh, ways down the maze at a decision region of the maze. And uh, basically what the animal has to do is decide which door to go through. Um, and that decision then determines the amount of food that he might get or the, whether or not a large barrier will appear before him that he has to jump over to get the food. So it basically determines whether he's going to have to expend a lot of effort to get the food reward um, or, uh, or the amount of food that he gets. And so he has to learn these associations over trial and error. He has to figure that out. And as soon as he gets something, I go ahead and I switch it up on him. And so he has to adapt. And the frontal cortex seems to be very important for this ability to adapt, to flexibly change your strategies when outcomes change. So the frontal cortex can be very important for that. So just learning a stimulus and response, the frontal cortex isn't very important for that. Um, but when you suddenly have to take some habit that, or some, some association that you've learned and then reverse it, that's when this, this higher level center of the brain seems to be very important. It's this kind of cognitive flexibility. So, Ultimately, what we do then is once we have uh, the animals are doing great on the behavior, um, then we go ahead and we, uh, we implant electrodes in the frontal cortex. And that's the area, again, that seems to be very important for this ability to flexibly change your behaviors uh, when outcomes change. Um, and so we then want to go ahead and see if we can understand how, what those patterns of activity in the frontal cortex uh, tell us about how our brains actually do deliberate or how we do overcome um, our previous learning to do something new. Now these guys never bite. They, I've never been bitten by one of these. I've been bitten by other strains like twice or so by other strains. And I've been working with rats for going on 13 years now so uh, it's pretty rare that they, they, get, they get too upset.